Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So XRP sitting around here, uh, you know, holding out at about 25.6 cents. Not bad for XRP, at least within the last few days, we had seen a high of 26.4 all the way up here, uh, if you guys can see that. And what happened here? You know, we saw XRP shoot up and then come right back down again and uh, now sitting in that level at uh, about 25 and a half cents. There are some thoughts on this. So let's look at the entire crypto market. Bitcoin right now trading at 15,578, up uh, 1.14% on the 24 hour. Ethereum trading at 461, up 2.18%. And XRP trading, as I had mentioned, about 25.7, down about 1.64% on the 24 hour. When we look at the market cap, we are slowly, gradually increasing crypto market cap. So there is money being poured into the market right now, sitting at about 450 billion. And what was brought to my attention was this from Mac Attack XRP. XRP spikes 4.22% after the Ripple buy-in, uh, which speaks to this idea is XRP reacting to certain market factors and not others. There is now an air of unpredictability surrounding XRP. Bitcoin is currently consolidating above 15,000 and other altcoins such as Ethereum and Link have been steadily rising higher and higher in the charts. But of course, this wasn't the same for XRP. While Bitcoin's value has exhibited periods of significant growth over the past couple of years, XRP uh, hardly witnessed a massive rise. While this is because it is an altcoin and it is uh, still following Bitcoin, um, there is still only spec market supply and demand for XRP right now. While it does not say much about the token other than extreme sideways consolidation, its market reacted fervently due to an extrinsic factor. Now, what they're talking about here is uh, the Ripple buy-in and uh, they're discussing this down here. This move up that we saw for XRP, if you guys can see that on the chart, why did this happen? Okay, we saw from, from, the, from the bottom of this candlestick here, this is on the hourly, by the way, November 10th at about 2 a.m. Uh, to the next hour, which is November 10th to about 3 a.m., XRP saw a 5.78% rise. Well, if we look at those same two candlesticks for Bitcoin, uh, we did not see that same rise. So 2 a.m. to 3 p.m. or sorry, 3 a.m. Uh, right here, these two candlesticks here, not nearly the same activity uh, as for XRP. We saw, you know, this huge pump up for XRP. And why was that? This article suggesting uh, because of the $46 million worth of XRP that Ripple said they were going to purchase in order to uh, maintain healthy markets. That's what is uh, being suggested here. So uh, guys, I will leave this article in the description if you want to read that. What I think is yes, a overall positive quarter three report is going to help XRP uh, in the moment. And uh, this is overnight too. Let's not forget it could be foreign buyers. But I truly believe overall the sentiment for cryptocurrencies like XRP specifically in Bitcoin because uh, it has been in the news. It has name recognition. They throw it around all the time when they talk about cryptocurrency uh, going mainstream is the fact that now we are seeing somewhat of a clear path with regards to, and I know it is going to be contested, but a clear path, at least this is what the masses believe, a clear path for cryptocurrency adoption in the United States. Let's not forget after the election, we did see a big uh, pump for XRP and Bitcoin respectively, the entire crypto market saw a bit of a rally. And so this just happened now, whether you think that Joe Biden should have done this or not, because the election results are still being contested, Gary Gensler, a Washington and Wall Street veteran who has closely studied the budding cryptocurrency field, will lead the financial policy transition team for projected US president-elect Joe Biden. As you're noticing here, Coindesk is saying, projected US president-elect Joe Biden, uh, so a former chairman for the CFTC, Gensler, was tapped to lead the agency review team for the uh, Federal Reserve Banking and Security Regulators. The Biden campaign formally announced uh, Tuesday, which was yesterday. So this is now a formal announcement, uh, and he was a key player in Obama's administration. So uh, this also is definitely playing into cryptocurrency clarity with regards to U.S. regulations. But all this, guys, is butting up against the overall political narrative of what is going on in the United States of America, namely this, uh, this tweeted out from Ian Binns on Twitter. Lay hammer a smooth transition or pose a risk to national security. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration. Whoa, I'm sure a lot of you guys caught that yesterday. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo uh, suggesting 
there's going to be a second Trump administration. So I saw this from CNBC. Uh, Pompeo ignores Biden's victory, claims there will be a smooth transition to a second Trump term. Of course, we just heard the clip. There will be a smooth transition to a second Trump administration, Pompeo said during a State Department news conference. The State Department didn't immediately respond to CNBC's request for clarification. We're going to count all the votes, he said. The nation's top diplomat added, saying uh, the world should have every confidence that the transition necessary to make sure that the State Department is functional today, successful today, and successful when the president who's in office on January 20th. Pompeo's comments were as the Trump campaign questions the integrity of last week's election. Of course, we uh, all were following the election last week. We must count every single legal vote, Pompeo said, adding, we will get it right. We are in good shape. And of course, Donald Trump's administration is contesting the results of the vote, as there has been evidence, according to Trump's camp, of voter fraud. So we got to look at the bigger picture. Biden's camp already picking their guys like Gary Gensler, which uh, I'm sure would be good for cryptocurrency uh, adoption within the United States. But there still is that element of uncertainty. Uh, despite all that, though, and I saw this from DJ Peter Vass, the U.S. Central Bank plans their crypto U.S. dollar. Uh, so this is going forward, and I think that this was going to go forward regardless. President of the Dallas Federal Bank, Robert Kaplan, hinted that it was time for the U.S. Federal Reserve to begin work on their crypto dollar immediately. This is a clear sign that some policymakers view this as an urgent case that needed to be promptly attended to. Speaking recently at a virtual seminar hosted by Bloomberg, the president of the Dallas Federal Reserve reportedly said... It is critical that the Fed focuses on developing a digital currency in the coming months and years. The world's largest economy is finally considering the use of digital dollars following slow beer flu stimulus payments to its citizens. The U.S. Congress recently heard testimonies on the usage of digital dollars to facilitate the U.S.'s legacy financial infrastructure. America's Congressional FinTech Task Force examined Federation accounts and the use of digital dollars in expanding financial reach in the United States, said Kaplan. So they are working on this framework. They are working towards a U.S. Uh, digital dollar, a CBDC, if you will. All this while election results are still up in the air. Now, I believe it is no secret that Ripple, or rather people at Ripple, the hires up at Ripple, i.e. Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson, want a Biden administration uh, to be able to push this through, to be able to have the clarity that cryptocurrency needs in order for XRP to thrive. I don't doubt that one bit. I do believe that they were having some problems with the Trump administration. This is just my opinion. I think it's safe to say that a lot of Silicon Valley types are Democrats. Maybe I'm painting people with a broad brush. Nevertheless, um, regardless of who is in office, and this is the most important point, cryptocurrency regulatory clarity needs to pass in the United States in order for the RippleNet technology to be able to connect with other banks around the world, central banks, big businesses, everyone that transfers money cross borders, and what they'll be using once the regulatory clarity comes to pass is XRP. Even as I was discussing yesterday, I was discussing a uh, an article with regards to Joe Biden's administration and clamping down on cryptocurrency laws. I think their main focus is making sure that the illegal business doesn't uh, seep through into the legitimate business. I do think that they are on a clear path to regulate compliant cryptocurrencies like XRP because let's not forget the New World Order, guys, the Great Reset. This is all part of the grand plan, and this is also the reason why uh, the powers that be wanted Donald Trump out. He was thwarting their plan, and XRP will thrive in this new financial system that they've already carefully crafted. So results are still up in the air. Is Donald Trump going to win a second term or does Joe Biden have it cinched? With regards to that, another one here from Ian Northing. Let me play you this. Oh, NBC's Kim Delanian has some new reporting on something that we talked about at the top of the hour, how the Trump administration is handling the transition with the incoming Biden team or not handling it, we should say, to a certain extent. This time it involves our intelligence community. Uh, Ken, what have you learned, sir? Okay, uh, think we lost. Think we lost Ken for a second. We'll try to get him back there. <laughs> and on that note, I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.